They call this mountain the Sleeping Giant. But in the valley below it, something new is awakening. This group of young Fijian farmers are up with the sun to work on their papaya plantation. 22-year-old Kesaya Burirua is one of them. Before the sunrise, we have to come here. The boys have to weed and the girls have to bag in the fruits. So that, uh, that's our program every day. The man behind this program is Levi Tora. His clan has owned this land for generations, but it has never been profitable. So Levi looked for a crop that would change this. After some trials and a study of the market, he found that buyers are prepared to pay a premium for organic papaya. So a year ago, he brought this group of 20 young farmers together to form an association of papaya producers. Levi trained them and gave them each an acre of land to farm. These are the people we should be targeting. They just need some direction, they need some clear coordination, they need some vision, and uh, they need some discipline, and that's, that's the environment that we provide. In this environment, the young farmers live together, eat together and work together. Every one of them is supporting their families back in their villages and are working to give their younger siblings a better future. I know that uh, back in the village, we have come across a lot of difficulties and struggle. So uh, our families and our uh, village will uh, earn money from this papaya. But the whole plan to earn money from this papaya hinges on accessing the organic market and the premium price it pays. To do this, it has to be certified organic. At a cost of at least 10,000 US dollars a year for external certification, this is out of their reach. But there is another way. It's called the Participatory Guarantee System, or PGS. In this system, the farmers keep an eye on each other, and they decide if the organic rules are being followed and if certification should be granted. Levi says this is a much better system. The actual people on the ground, the people who are getting their hands dirty, are actually guaranteeing the system for you. Forget about the guy in the middle, forgetting about the importer, the distributor, the guy at the end of the, end of the chain. This is the guy that's going to guarantee the system, the farm himself. And these farmers follow very stringent rules to guarantee the system. Each day they recite their organic pledge, vowing to protect their resources and environment. After each day's work, they make notes in their farm diaries. These records are examined every two weeks, when the other farmers come to inspect their fields and working methods. Five farmers have already been expelled from the group for not following the rules. Today, Karen Mapasua from Poetcom, the main organic body in the Pacific region, has come to look at how the self-certification is working here. With support from the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, and the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, PERDCOM hopes to make this the main method of organic certification in the region. But will the consumers trust it? Karen says yes. When you think about it, our highest level, science, medicine, are all peer reviews. If you are doing a scientific study, it will be peer reviewed. So we trust that to science and we trust that to medicine. I think we can also trust it to farmers. And now a major organic buyer in New Zealand agrees. In the next few months, he will start purchasing the group's papaya, certified by the farmers themselves through PGS. With their first international buyer committed, Karen believes this is the start of big changes. It was a really big breakthrough. It could really quite fundamentally change organic certification and opportunities for growers in the Pacific. And under the sleeping giant, it is these young farmers who are part of this breakthrough, providing Fiji's first self-certified organic products to the international market.